Hey guys, this is the part two. This is the general update with me. I've been doing pretty good. Um, yesterday I went out and bought a bunch of fruit and stuff. I'm trying to, I am, I'm really trying to be healthier now. Like yesterday I was just like, you know what Kim, you need to get healthy. And I had it this a couple days, no, a couple weeks ago on my Tumblr. I was like, I need to get in shape. I'm going to go walking. I'm going to invite my friends. And that never happened. Um, I Today I actually did cut down a lot of my portion sizes. It was to have like six small deal, meals a day. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. Supposed to do that and then drink like water and stuff. But as you know, I don't really like water because it doesn't have a taste. And I don't like that it doesn't have a taste. So I actually, when a bunch of us went to Ottawa, I tried Arizona uh arizona green tea with honey ginseng anyways it was really good and i got addicted and they're only 99 cents for like this gigantic can that'll last me all day and they're actually 88 cents when i bought them so i bought eight of them hopefully by putting this out in the world i will i will feel it come back to me and i will actually do it <laughs> i have fixed my resume last week then I looked up a lot of jobs on the computer and different classifieds. I looked there. I found a few jobs that I could possibly do. Um, I sent one out to the Capital Center for a part-time job this summer. It would be like evenings, but it said bilingualism, bilingualism would be an asset. And as we all know, I'm not very good at French. So that's probably not going to happen, but it was good to get one out there. And then I did one for a telemarketing thing. You call around people for like big brothers for like charities and stuff. Well, it said you didn't have to have, you had to have your high school diploma and you had to have, um, there's no requirements, but it said experience is an asset. So I don't know if I'm going to get that. Um, my backup is probably going to be a carrier job. Not ideal, but uh, money's money at this point because I need to get a lot of things done. I need to get a passport because eventually uh, we will be going traveling eventually and I really need to get that done because you all have been hounding me for it. <laughs> and I need to eventually pay off my credit card debt because I don't want my well, my credit card debt, I mean the stuff I have on my credit card, the money I still have on it, I need to pay back. And I don't want my parents to pay for that because they've been paying for a lot of stuff for me lately and I feel really bad about it. And I just want to treat my boyfriend as some stuff because he also kind of spoils me and as lovely that is I feel kind of bad about it and you know eventually get a car or at least help out with the gas as I do drive the car a lot that kind of leads to my last point um I don't know if I said this in another video but oh let's get it uh, I have actually been despite withdrawing from Carlton last semester because of my depression anxiety I still applied to Nipissing that year, and I surprisingly got into Nipissing. I'd be on probation though. I got into all the three programs I applied to. BA Honors in Social Welfare, which would be a combined major. Social Welfare and Social Development is what the full name is. Then I had one for gen BA Honors in Gendered Studies and Social Justice, and then a BA Honors in History because I just, I needed to add a third one because on the Ontario Thing until I got three and I'm like well I'm gonna get my money's worth I did kind of have a lot of apprehension um like a month or so ago about you know if I were to go into social welfare would I like I've always wanted to help people but if I were to go into it and you know be the typical kind of social worker or counselor I I have a feeling and I like a 95 percent 99 percent I would probably one cry and two take the work home with me like that emotion it would be so emotionally draining and I'd probably think about the person all the time and I don't know if I could handle that um so I had a falling out with that and because I don't really I didn't really have a passion like a lot of you guys have passions to do stuff most of you I think except for I don't really know Sydney and Atlanta that well but I know you guys have a general idea so that's why I'm kind of most any envious about about you guys, which is why I related myself to Ron, because you don't want to feel that envy and jealousy, but you know what happens. So that's why um, I didn't know if I really wanted to go into it. You know, maybe I should take should take the social welfare program because 
I want to help people, but I don't want to be directly associated with it kind of thing. So I emailed um, the admission, um, Nipsing Admissions uh, about uh, sometime during this weekend, I emailed them asking what is the minimum amount of courses I could do each semester but still be considered a full-time student because that was my problem last year. I got really stressed out and I wanted to take the minimum amount of courses. The thing is with the funding though, uh, you still have to be considered a full-time student to get the funding, whatever you're Whatever the university you're going to, you have to do that. Anyways, anyways, I'm trying to go through this math, but it's not working. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. I don't know what my combined major would be. Um, I was actually just looking at something on here. It said, um, what is this one? Uh, political science, maybe? Social welfare and political science? I don't know what I'd do with it. I don't know if I want to go into the gender studies because... Caitlin said that professors are kind of crazy, and Ty has said that um, when he took an English course when he went to Nipissing, that his teacher was a, like, one of the, her main thing was the gender equality thing, and she was really kind of intense about the whole feminist, like, a, she always took a feministic, femin, feministic point of view for the book, and it's just, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to do that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm 95% sure that I'm going to go into the social welfare program at Nipissing, and I'll see you guys next time, though. That's pretty much it. That's all I've been really happening with Kim. Bye!